major shakeup. The lawyers of crypto Twitter, a big old group of them are changing firms. Now, this is fun because everyone loves a good lawyerly crypto Twitter thread. And these are some of the most prominent lawyers of crypto Twitter. They're going from Anderson Kill to Brown Rudnick, which is perhaps most famously known as the firm that represented Johnny Depp against ex-wife Amber Heard most recently. You're looking at Preston Byrne right there. He's one of the lawyers who jumped ship. Interesting to see this shift. It kind of reminds me of like when a bunch of NBA superstars all link up and go to a new team. That's what happened here. It's crazy. So anyway, let's talk about some lawyers for a sec. I'm going to throw it straight to Will for his initial thoughts. Wait, Jen's probably going to know this, but what's that like New York high-powered law- lawyer show or whatever? This reminds me of that one. I can't remember it off the top of my head. It's like really stuck oh, the there. One, I feel like the you know one it. with Megan Markle? That one? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the one. I, I think That's the one. It, oh, what's it called? Pra- something practice. Deep. It's just so. I, I cannot remember it's what it's called. Yeah, suits. 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 Good show. Suits. Good show. Good show. There we go. This is what this reminds me of. Sorry that took so long. I cannot remember what it was called. <laughs> Thankfully, we have Jen for all our pop culture hits. So this reminds me of like the crypto version of suits, right? Like we have like the high powered lawyer team in crypto. Everyone knows them. Everyone knows them on Twitter. They're always in articles giving their opinion on anything that's happening in crypto from Justin Soon running off to Granada to get diplomatic immunity to your next crypto hacking to something going insolvent. These guys are always the forefront giving their opinion and their legal expertise on the subject for good reason, right? They're very good at this. It's also kind of cool to see that like their bet of working in this industry a few years ago has paid off and now they've jumped ship to another firm that is also trying to make that transition into digital assets and blockchain itself. And it's hard to find these lawyers, right? Very, very difficult to find these people. We often find them as general practitioners at maybe a fund or maybe at some sort of VC firm. And we don't often see them sort of like in this grouping, just like on the show, Suits. So I'm going to stick with that. (laughs) I'll throw it over to you, Jen. I think this is awesome. I love all of these lawyers. Big supporter of Haley. I think that they're all great. Uh, I thought it was interesting that Brown Rudnick now has a 40-member team that's focused on crypto, which just tells me they are getting ready for the onslaught of cases that we are going to see over the next few years. I think that they are really going to define the industry, but it also points to the fact that there are not a lot of lawyers out there that really understand the industry in the way that they need to to help us advance from these onslaught of cases that we're about to see, right? There is no specialized training in crypto or blockchain law. These lawyers are really just lawyers. They all went to the same type of school and then they need to take a special interest in crypto or blockchain and and further their education in that way. And so I think there's a real opportunity here for people who are lawyers who want to get into the space to make a name for themselves and to make a lot of money over the next few years. Zach, what do you think? Also completely immune to bull bear cycles. Lawyers going to get paid yes. either way. So while <laughs> other people in the space are down in the bear market, lawyers-, lawyers are busy. Am I right? It says in the article that I finance that is a client. There is all sorts of stuff. So within the crypto world, perhaps the most insulated from the wild swings of the coin markets. <laughs> well, giving it to you for last thoughts. No, I love that take. I feel like you kind of took all the air out of the room with it. It was really good. Uh, all their clients, Binance, Cardano, <laughs> stuff like that, right? They have a lot of money. And these firms, they kind of need lawyers, often not, right? Because there's a lot of people who are disgruntled or unhappy. People like to sue. So it happens. Makes sense. Uh, cool to see them move on as well. We're going to stick with the suits comparison. I'm sorry. You guys are just going to have to deal with that the rest of the show. I'll probably bring it up like two or three more times. <laughs> 